Well, guys, I do have something I want to talk to you guys about. So, give me to invite and some people here, and I will explain exactly why I posted what I fucking posted earlier. Alright, well, whether you guys are watching or not. Oh, hey guys, what's up? But some of you guys are probably wondering, you know, why I posted what I posted earlier on Facebook this morning. It's not that, and some of you might think that I was bitching and complaining. That's not it at all. You see, every single freaking day, and not just on here, but on social media in general, like, everywhere, like, we're fucking YouTube, Twitter, like, basically every form of social media, like, every freaking day I see these people, you know, and mostly kids, you know, younger than myself, you know, Complaining, saying, oh, I don't have this, or oh, like, you know, I'm bored of this, so I want this instead of this, or, you know, like, oh, my life is hard, when really their life isn't that hard. Like, and to be honest with you, I am really getting tired of freaking seeing it. Like... You guys want hard, take a look at my life, okay? I mean, the stuff that I'm faced with every day is not easy stuff to deal with. I mean, dude, I was born with one kidney and one and a half sized lungs. And because of that, you know, I do face death every single day because, you know, with my medical condition, I never know if, you know, that day will be the last day that I go. So I do face a lot more than most on top of half blindness a lot of the times because I do lose sight in this eye a lot of the times from, you know, eye surgery as a kid. Because I had both eyes done at once, and this one is my lazy eye, and it just happens to be affected a lot. And so, you know, I do face a lot more. And I saw a lot of the comments that were said to me earlier in that post. And, you know, and it's true, like, I don't have anything, like, I don't have the luxury of having a computer at this time. So I can't really, you know, do anything that people are asking me to do. You know, I stay here at home and help take care of my mom every day. You 
you know, like, a lot of you are sitting there saying, oh, your argument can be used against you. No, it can't. I know what you guys are thinking that, oh, it'll be used against me and da 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 da. Well, you know, it really can't be used against me because you guys aren't me. You guys don't see what I deal with or go through every day. You guys only see the outside and what I show you and what I choose to show you. You guys don't actually see my struggle that I face every day. I mean, the only ones who really do see it are people like my mom and very, very, very few others. You know, I never have been rich. We've never had much. We've been able to get by on bills. We've been very lucky. And I mean very. And honestly, I'm generally just sick and tired of seeing these people who have a lot more than what I've got, like by far, sitting there complaining and saying that their life is hard when y'all's life isn't hard. You just choose to make it hard. Okay? You don't see me complaining every day about how I don't have anything. I make do with what I've got every day of my life. Okay? Like the music that I've done. I made do with a simple fucking USB microphone and a computer that died out a few months back. You know, I made do with that in FL Studios 12 for free. That's all I had. And that's all I probably will ever have. And I do apologize for having to come back to these live streams like this, you know, in a pissed off manner. But what really sparked it for me to make that post and to make this live stream for you guys to explain myself is I was on YouTube you know, looking at some of my subscribers and seeing what my subscribers have to offer, you know? And one of the comments just really set me off. And it was this rich kid, and I've seen his videos quite a few times before. And just the one comment that he made is like, he made himself act like he was better than everybody else. Like, if I could get a screenshot of what it was he said, I, w I would. But it was just one of those things where it's like, dude, like, you're super rich. Like, we've seen your garage. Like, we've seen your family's car. We've seen your house. We've seen everything. And for you to sit there and say that your life is hard when you're rich, like, that really set me off. So, you know, like, I really, you know, sick and tired of seeing people bitch and complain about their lives being hard when, you know, their life isn't hard. You want hard? Try living in my shoes for a day. Try going through what I go through every day. Not just, you know, with being judged by record labels and by people in general. But try having to struggle with the medical conditions that I struggle with. Try going through half blindness from time to time. Alright? Try being told that you'll never be able to play any kind of sport in your life. Try being told that you'll never be able to follow 
in your father's footsteps and join the military like you've always wanted to, to do as a kid. Okay. Try being the only kid in your school that hangs out and sticks up for special needs kids. Try being the only kid in your school that hangs out with the outcast kids. With the outcast kids. That was me in high school. And that still is me to this very day. That's what I go through. Every single day of my life. So before you sit there and comment on my status from earlier. Saying how fucked up it is. Take a look back at this video and think about what I said. Because not all of us fucking have it easy. Some of us have it harder than most. Okay. Like I said, I'm even lucky to be even doing this live stream or to even have the stuff that I have. Like I said, I'm lucky to even be here and to even be alive. So before you go bitching and complaining about how your life is hard, you know, take a fucking look at my life and what I go through every fucking day of my life. Take a look at what I deal with every day. And you guys really don't see what it is that I go through. And what it is that I face. I not only face judgment and torment from other people. But every single day, I stare death in the face and I say fuck you. And I make it through every single day. Every day I wake up. When I wake up, I'm thankful that I'm still here. Every day that I wake up. I stare death in the, in the fucking face, and I say, fuck you, I'm going to keep on living until I am old. Every single day that I wake up, I look at death, and I tell him, no, I am not going to die today. I'm going to make it through today, no matter what happens. I am going to do something with my life. And what I want to do with my life is like a lot of my favorite you know, music artists and bands and musical heroes have done. Which is to save lives through my music. That's what I want. That's why I fight so hard. For my music. Because saving people through my music is what I want. Like, that's what I want more than anything. And in order for that to, to really happen... Yes, I need to be signed to a record label. Yes, I need to have my music put out there. I need to be out there in the public eye for that to even begin to work. So that's why I do what I do. And if you have not seen my post from earlier, go back and go look at it. And then watch this, and this will explain everything that I was talking about in that post. Like, you know, you guys don't get it. Like, there's very few of you who can truly understand what it is that I go through every fucking day. Like, every day. Every day I'm lucky to even wake up. My and we'll do Stephanie and shout out to everybody that did watch this 
Like, I really do appreciate every single one of you. And I hope that this live stream, this video did kind of give you guys a little bit of some idea of what it was that I was talking about in that post from earlier. Because like I said, like a lot of you, unlike a lot of you guys out there, and a lot of the people out there, I don't have the luxury of having a computer. It's too expensive to even get one right now. I don't have a lot of the luxuries that a lot of people have. Like, you know, I can't afford the newest game systems. I can't afford the newest clothing or the newest shoes or the newest gear. So I make do with what I have. Mm. Sorry about that. But, you know, I make do with the stuff that I have at hand around me. I'm not rich. And even if I were to be rich, like, a lot of the money that I have wouldn't just sit around and go to myself. I would be doing right the right thing with it. I mean, yes, a lot of it I would save up for myself, but a lot of it would go towards the charity that I'm part of, which is Operation Smile. I've been an online volunteer for Operation Smile for many, many years now. And I do have the awesome opportunity to work on a documentary. Um, they've got the footage, they're getting it together. Um, they're having me put together a small documentary to promote them as well as the trailer for it, which I'm currently working on, which is hard because my Kindle's being an ass, but I am working on that. As soon as the trailer releases, you guys will be the first to know for sure. But I do have something to show you guys that does prove that I am an online volunteer for Operation Smile. Not a lot of you have seen this either. And if you have, you're damn lucky. You see, several months ago, I helped out this kid not knowing it through Operation Smile. And his name was Alberto. Or Albert. My bad. So, Albert, if you're in Brazil and you just happen, happen to be watching this, buddy, I do apologize for mispronouncing your name. But this is the kid that I helped save several years ago. I've been with Operation Smile for a little over, I'd say, 10 to 12 years now. And if you guys don't know about Operation Smile, there's their contact info right there on the back of the card. You guys can get a hold of them. You guys can just go to, this, to their website, sign up, you know, make donations, do what you can to help out. That's what I do. And do I regret doing this? Hell no. Because I know what it's like to be that kid. I know what it's like to be judged. But with that being said, guys, I do have to end this live stream because I do need to get a hold of Stephanie. With that being said, guys, love y'all. Thank you guys for taking the time out to let me explain myself and not jump down my throat like somebody, like somebody did, not mentioning any names. You know who you are. You need to stop acting like an asshole. And take a step back and realize why I said what I said in that post. And just for the record, you're wrong. It can't be used against me. My argument cannot be used against me. Because it was not just an argument. It was a serious, serious <clears throat> matter that I felt needed to be brought up. But with that being said, love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next live stream. 
And next live stream, I might do some funny stuff with some of the new cameras they have up. With that being said, guys, love y'all, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.